Farm. If you're tasting card, you actually get, I mean, you, this is what you get for the $35. If you want to do the trick or treat trail, as an adult, you should have to pay $8 each person. And if I'm going to be honest, $8 is not that bad. Um, there are some cool things in there that I, w I want to check out. So uh, where do you want to head first? Ghost Town? Brown is going to be Ghost Town, and then orange is going to be... Oh, I see the mariachi Royal. skeleton yeah. is, I guess, Fiesta Village. Ghost Town would be the little mining stuff. I want some food, so let's see which... Uh, you want to try the pastrami tater tots? Yeah, let's actually go get those. That's at the Calico Fried Coast, so let's go. Okay. We'll serve you well in life. Thank you so much for visiting us. So now we have new Halloween jokes. Yes. And look at this. Look at this photo op. So first off we got the pastrami tater tots. They're loaded with, I believe it's diced garlic pickles is what I read. Let me just double check that. Yeah, diced garlic pickles and Mornay cheese sauce. I don't want to mispronounce that. And there's also hot mustard on here, and one of our friends said that if you really like mustard, that you would like this, so let's see. Those are good, oh my gosh. I know, melty. I want to get a little bit of everything. Ready? Mmm. Yeah? Holy cow. Okay, I want to try. Mm. So, do you like the mustard? I did, actually. It wasn't too overpowering. I want to try the pastrami by itself. Mm. It's a little, not soggy, what's the word? Not crispy? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a little, because it looks like it's crispy, but it's a little sog. Let me try some of this cheese. And then I want the, what did you call them? Pickled garlic? Garlic pickles. Let me see. Mm. Pretty mm. tasty, huh? It's like savory. There was so much garlic flavor. And the pastrami, okay. So getting a bite with everything, that's already better than what we had at Taste of Knots. Like, I agree, for sure. Like the loaded tater tots then, look at how much sauce and like stuff you get on top of these. The other ones, they had like nothing. Yeah, that's what we were saying last time was yeah. that they lacked in the sauce. Well, they made up for it. <laughs> they heard us. I'm gonna take one more bite and then I'll give it back to you. No worries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So one thing I want to ask you is mm. how do you feel um, so far? We just walked through Calico. I'm not even all the way through Ghost Town. How do you feel about the theming for this compared to like, I, I would say like Horror Nights? Just like during the day-ish kind of. I've never been to Horror Nights during the day. Wow. Well actually, so the event for Horror Nights normally doesn't start until Six or seven-ish, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So they do offer packages for horror nights where it's a day-night pass, so you do some day rides, and then when it's the transition into night, they allow you to go to the, the back lot. Mm. That's where all the um, mazes open first, and then they open the ones on top. Mm -hmm. So... Is it called Stay and Scream? What? I think in Florida it's called Stay and Scream. Oh, I was like, I don't know what that is. No, yeah. No, but here I like it. I like the daytime theming. There is Halloween in every direction that you look. Yeah, and I think they... They killed it. They had like the little details of the, I don't know if you could see it, it's right there. It's like a skeleton and he's chilling on top of the thing. And then everywhere you look, there's there's spider webs, there's uh, fall leaves. We're by Ghost Rider, by the way. Um, and and then the, I just like also that all of their um, employees that are like in costume right now are being super interactive with you and mm. it's like super cool. Oh, that guy on top of the yeah. the thing, he said, Freddy Krueger. That um, people are call your people. <laughs> He was like, it's been so long, we don't, you don't call anymore. That's what he said. 
Um, and he's talking to all the little kids. And at the front, I don't know, I think we, we filmed something for it, but the giant pumpkin display, mm -hmm. that is so cool. And they knocked it out of the park. I See, the first time I've been back to Knott's since like 2016, yeah. 2017. Middle school for sure. Was Taste of Knott's and it really like, it felt good to be back in, but there was really no theme and the food was, was all right. Now, I feel like the $35 just to see the Halloween decorations yeah. is, is fantastic so we're gonna finish these i know you want to munch yeah. and grub on them so um i think next we're gonna go get um mac and cheese yes the i don't remember what it's called we'll tell you when we get there so what was your rating of the tater tots i would definitely give that a nine out of ten i think i would too i think nine is is fair I it think was for me to make it that perfect ten the tater tots just had to be crispy because mm -hmm. they were kind of soggy i think they've been sitting in that cheese sauce and the mustard so I would give it a 9. The only thing I think that would make it better is if the pastrami was crispy. Yeah, that too. I guess your gripe is the tater tots and mine would be the, the meat. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So next we have the loaded mac and cheese. It has, I believe, panko breadcrumbs and basically it's a cheeseburger. So it has ground beef in it as well and bacon. So let's see. Let's dive right in. Mmm. Mmm. Is it as good as you thought? Mmm. It's hot. It's probably hot. You know, it's kind of, it tastes like it's missing a little bit of salt or something. Mmm. I'd probably give it like a seven. Okay. You want to try it? Yeah. Let's see. So Cody's now trying the mac and cheese. Oh my god, they got spooky sound effects going on. Whatever that meat is, it's not good. It's kind of lackluster, huh? I don't even like the mac and cheese part. And trust me, I like mac and as I say it, I'm eating it still, but like, it's okay. So you give it a 7 out of 10? Mm -hmm. I think I might give that like a 5. Now that I took that second bite, I think it was just because I was excited. I think I might lower it to a 4. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Hmm. Like the Kid Cuisine mac and cheese. That's what this oh yeah, like. that's exactly what that tastes like. Wow, spot on. <laughs> I mean, we're going to finish it, but I don't know. I don't recommend it. Okay, so next on our agenda is the Hot Cheeto Covered corn dog with cheese dipping sauce. I guarantee you all of this is going to fall off once I try and dunk it. <laughs> it's literally just cheese with powder on top. I mean, a corn dog with powder on top. Mmm. Good corn dog? powdered in hot cheetos. Or not powdered, the, the batter. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's pink. I think. I can't tell you how the hot dog is. Because it's burning your mouth? Uh-huh. Yeah, I haven't gotten any. Okay, take two. What's your opinion? It's a hot, a hot dog covered in hot Cheetos. Dipped in cheese. I mean, how could you not like that? It does sound like it would clog my cal my calories. It would clog my <laughs> arteries. But it's pretty good. You want to try it? I'll try it. For observation's sake, it looks like a juicy hot dog. Thank God it won't be dry. Let's see. This your bread is slipping. Yeah, it's not very well breaded. It's a hot dog on a stick, covered in hot Cheetos, dipped in cheese. Yeah. That's like the best description I could give you. Mm. You don't like it? The batter doesn't taste like it's fully developed inside. Mm -hmm. It's really like battery. Yeah, when it falls apart like that. I like corn dogs that have like, it's kind of crispy. Mm -hmm. The outside is, but the inside like has not been done long enough. You can see it there. 
It's not dong, dong, done long enough. <laughs> it's not dong long enough. But I would give it maybe like a six. Yeah, I would say it's like a six. Darn, I was really excited for this too. Maybe we should stop getting our hopes up for food and just and just go. Maybe all the stuff that we don't really want to try is where it's at. Maybe. Okay, well, we're gonna finish this and then I think we're gonna head to get the Diablo fries. I pray, I'm praying that those are not disappointing and they live up to their hype, so. So next we're gonna go into the Into the Fog tribute store. I heard that there's a lot of not scary farm merch in here, so let's go check it out. Is that what Horror Nights smell like? Or I guess haunts? Smells like? Yeah. So I hear this guy's name is Pumpkin Eater? Yeah, it's kind of what it's called. Yeah. The sinister season with werewolves! That's the entrance to go or to accelerator. Every time I'd walk through there, my stomach would be in knots. <laughs> so the next thing we got is the Diablo fries. I've seen everybody eat these, and I'm really excited to try them. I hope it's not like the hot dog. I heard they have hot Cheetos, chili, and crispy onions on them. I think I think these are crispy. Hold on. Look at the jalapeno. Wait, hold on. Uh, chili's cheese, hot Cheeto powder, crispy jalapeno chip. It's strips. So it's a jalapeno. It's jalapeno. I'm excited. Let's see. It's kind of a lot. Is it so delicious? Your face is saying it all. This. This is it. What do you rate this? No, 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 no. Wow. 10. Only for the amount of like, look how much hot Cheetos I got compared to like the corn dog. Yeah. And then there's a lot of chili. Granted, they didn't like put it all over, which I get it, but. Mm. Oh, I'm excited for you to try these. What else did you get? Mm. So we also both got the, what is it called? Bloody slime, margarita, body slime. Something like that. <laughs> body slime, ugh. Mm. You know, the margaritas, I'm sure they don't have a lot of alcohol in them, but if they did and they tasted like that, those would be dangerous. They are so good and they don't taste like alcohol at all. And that's probably why I like them. I'm gonna let you finish those fries. Mm -hmm. enjoying this bloody slime margarita it came to mind that just to let everybody know that you can dress up for this event I have seen people with full-on helmets and stuff like an Iron Man helmet 
I think I've also seen a couple of Mandalorians, but just so you know, feel free to dress up. It's been really cool because all the um, cast members have been like complimenting me on my and my costume and on my eyeshadow, so. Yeah, I've had a lot of people compliment me on mine too. <laughs> That's Cody's fit. <laughs> We're gonna kill these french fries mm -hmm. um, and then we'll slowly get our margaritas in. And head that way. I think. What do we even want now? We still have to do um, trick or treating. Oh yeah, we gotta go to Camp Snoopy. So uh, we're gonna head towards Fiesta Village. If we don't see anything in there that we really want, we're just gonna go head to Camp Snoopy and and then maybe get our desserts later. Oh yeah, we have to get the funnel cake, the funnel cake, the churros, the churros, and that's it. I can think of. We have three left. So mm, the orange creamsicle. Remember I showed you that cookie cake? The oh yeah. Okay, so we have all three of our tastings left, and we're gonna use all of them on dessert. So. So this is the orange sugar and chocolate fudge with pumpkin ice cream cookie sandwich. And I'm gonna hurry up and eat it because it's melting. Mm. Mm. It tastes like the pumpkin uh, cream cold brew. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to bite it. Mm. not a big dessert person. The cookie is good. If it was just a cookie, I think I'd be alright. Um, the ice cream is alright. I'm just not a big pumpkin guy either. What do you rate it? I would give this a fair 7. Not bad. Hey, hello there. Welcome. Well, Frederick, Fredrina, whatever you choose to go by. Absolutely love this letter. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? My name is Cody. Cody. Nice to meet you. Cody. Nice to meet you, sir. My friends call me Bone. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Like your outfit. Well, I was buried in this. <laughs> I just sort of woke up and it was still on me. <laughs> These are not the nice things. They sort of left it up to your loved ones to say, here, go. I like it. You look pretty fly. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have you used up all your cards yet? You, uh, we use mine. We're, we're yeah, we're on yours. Yeah. Tag team, that's the way to do it. Friend. Exactly. Have a good day. Bye, Mayor. He was incredible. This is all in Camp Snoopy. So it's eight, eight something for you to trick or treat. I think it's free if you just walk through. Yeah. Okay, so. And they have all these little dead workers here. That's in heaven. Apparently it's very trusting to be working here. I guess you're stuck here until you die. <laughs> I remember this ride very vaguely, but I, I remember it being always fun. That's another Kevin. So if your name is Kevin, you're gonna be stuck here forever. I guess Kevin is the only name uh, of employees at Knott's. Well, these are cool. They're little sets. Oh, look at Charlie Brown, he's a little pirate. I'm 100% sure these are Halloween haunt props. props now from the houses. Scary.
I want to see this thing go up and fall. Oh, look at the little spider. Oh, this is the Junior Mints. Oh, yes. Okay, are these a battery? They look like batteries. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, what did you think so far of the Camp Snoopy? I love it. It's super cute. And I think that if you had little kids, like, it would be the best introduction to scary things. Yeah. I feel like because this is a scare zone when it's scary farm. I think this is kind of a more mild way to do it and it still feels kind of spooky. Yeah, it definitely does. So here's the shirt and pin combo. I think that's the back of the shirt. Here's the pin. Ten bucks. It's not bad, it's a pretty cool pin. I'm glad they're selling it separate. Yeah. Trey Cody bean sprouts. What are your favorite and least favorite things right now? I think my favorite was definitely the Diablo fries. Over the tater tots? Over the tater tots, yeah. Wow. I just I'm a big Chili cheese fried fan. I don't know. The tater tots were good. I like the pastrami. The, the I almost said garlic. The garlic. Go the garlic. The garlic pickles were pretty good. My least favorite. I'm gonna be honest. It's probably the cookie sandwich. Or, oh, the pumpkin one. Yeah, or the mac and cheese. And I think the mac and cheese has to be at the very bottom of that bowl. It was. It was yeah. scary. How bad it was. Um, there was a lot of hype around it too, so... What about uh, with the event overall? I really like this event. I like how it, as you can hear in the background, they have like Halloween music and everywhere there's skeletons and it really immerses you in the Halloween feel. And I like that. I wasn't really a big Halloween person until I met Aaliyah, so... Oh. I kind of like it. What are your thoughts? Mm, I think that I really love it so far. <laughs> it's just that mac and cheese really killed the vibe for me and... Mm, I kind of like the fries, but again, they were kind of soggy for my liking. But I know they're smaller fries too, so what could I really expect? Yeah, the margaritas were really good. Yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> we didn't get to rate those, but 10 out of 10. Yeah. So next we have the cannoli, and it comes with um, pumpkin flavored mascarpone and then crushed ginger snaps. So mm -hmm. let's see. I really like cannoli, so I, I have high hopes for this. Let's hope it's as good as it looks. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I like that smile. That can always be supposed to be soft. And it is, they dip the ends in like white chocolate. Oh. Mm -hmm. He has some of his tastings left, I believe two now or one? No, we use one for the cannoli, one for this, and then one for the next thing we're gonna get. So you only have one left? One left. So he got the Colorado chili with Mexican rice, um, some flour tortilla, and cilantro, and onion. So let's see how it is. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. We weren't quite sure what Colorado chili was. This is what it looks like. What is it? Does it taste like beef? It's just, it's like beef, like stew meat. Mm. It melts. It melts? Mm -hmm. You want some? I'm okay, thank you. I love the onion and cilantro on top. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
And then it's nice because we did find a section over here by the swing, that dragon boat swing, right by the fountain, and there's nobody around us. There's lots of tables open, and nobody's around us. And this is a pretty big portion for like the tasting card. Like you eat a lot. What would you rate this? I give it a 9 out of 10. Really? That's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. How's the flour tortilla? <laughs> I'm eating it like a chipmunk. It's like the ones you get in a Lunchable. Uh oh. Mm. I really like this. Mom should have this all the time. Mm. Oh, you heard it here. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. On a side note, so we have an artist friend that we met here. Uh, his name is Junior, and this is just one of his art pieces that we picked up from him. So it's his original piece, but he printed it onto like this poster board with a glossy finish. So, of course, I love the Universal Monsters, so we had to pick this up. So thank you to Junior for this. Thank you, Junior. So something that was really cool was that we ran into some of our favorite YouTubers. This is Magic Journeys. They were so nice and they let us take a picture with them. Welcome to the scare zone. Are you scared? <laughs> and overall, Halloween was such a great event. Highly recommend to anybody that wants to go, especially if you have kids, go ahead and take them. It was amazing. You can dress up. And yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And thanks for joining us. Bye.